Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. Anyway, uh, once in a while, a spectacular, cool muscle car comes along that's very different than everything else. I love a Z28, uh, I love uh, a Cuda, I love uh, a GTOs, you know, uh, 442s, you know, all those great things. I even love modern cars too, but the truth of the matter is, uh, once in a while a car comes along that's so significantly different and you know it was purpose built to do one thing and one thing only. Pamela Anderson is that exact person in a woman. She was built to do one thing and we know what that is. This car here is built to do the same thing. Automobile Magazine did a top, uh, I believe, 25 of the fastest muscle cars ever built over a huge span of time, right? This was number three. The only thing faster was the, uh, was the uh, 435 Tri-Power Corvette and the 427 Cobra, which cost uh, three times, uh, both those cars cost three times the price of this car here. Chrysler had to build enough of these cars to go drag racing in it. It ran 1290s right off the showroom floor with those skinny little tires on the back. Set of slicks got you down uh, almost into the 11s, and a couple modifications, whatever, got you easily down into the low 11s. These cars were faster than Hemi-powered cars because the Hemi-powered cars required a lot of work to the Hemi to get it to make uh, enormous amounts of power. But box stock, a 446 pack four speed car, is fast, fast, and faster. This one here is even more uh, desirable in the sense that it came out of the factory as an EV2 real Hemi orange car, and it's been beautifully restored. So let's take a walk around for a minute, look at some of the, what you would get in a car like this. For instance, like this has great paint and great panels. I wanted to show you the quality of the paint here, if you could. Come on up here and you can read that perfectly in there. It's not one of those uh, fuzzy pictures that you might get uh, in an email from somebody trying to sell a car. And uh, the one thing interesting about this is, you know, this car came with uh, 410 gears, power disc brakes. One option that we've never seen on these, and we've had several of these cars, is this power steering. This car was ordered with power steering. It's on the, uh, it's on the build sheet. The one thing also too is this is in the Govier registry. So Govier has uh, authenticated this car here and it's actually one of only 104 uh, of these cars built uh, in the registry, which is a pretty low number when you think about it. Chrysler built three million plus cars that year. Uh, we have a matching number uh, engine in here. We have the correct H-coated wheels with correct belted red line tires. This is the way this car rolled out of the uh, showroom and it's kind of been preserved that way um, you know, red line radials would make it drive a little nicer, but this is the way it came out, man, and it's pretty cool looking. So, I try to make sure I go down the list here because sometimes I miss some stuff, but uh, I love the fact that it has the correct wheels, and these h good wheels only came on these uh, lift-off hood cars. I don't know if you know this, but they actually stopped the production line to build these uh, lift-off hood cars, and I'll show you why uh, most of you know why the, they're called lift-off hood cars, but uh, we're going to actually lift off the hood here and show you because most muscle cars have... Uh, have uh, uh, hood hinges, and this car does not. So it's pretty cool, so let's check it out. Why you'd want the lift-off hood car is A, the lift-off hood, enormous amounts of fresh, cold, dense air uh, into the engine compartment. Number two, you're at the track, okay? You wanna work on the car? Lay that right there. Let's check out the detail in here. This is the stuff you should be looking for. This is collector quality uh, material right now. We got our fender tag right here, which matches up to uh, the Govier authentication. This has come out of a private collection, correct battery. This right here, uh, although not correct, is designed to turn the power off to the car because these cars don't get driven that much. So you would just turn this knob like this, cuts the power off, and that way when you're ready to take it for a drive, the battery's ready to go. We have these for other cars too. Got the right air cleaner, Right air filter, the correct uh, dual point distributor. Detail, detail, detailed in here. HP manifolds, deep groove pulleys, the correct clamps, nicely, nicely done. Let's take a peek inside for a second. You know, these cars' interiors were designed for, really just for, uh, uh, to seat somebody. But the one thing that they did do well is they put everything in the right place. This has the original thumb wheel, AM, FM radio, full rally dash gauges with factory TikTok tack and the clock works. 150 mile an hour speedometer and 8,000 RPM tech. Wipers, headlights, all of that stuff's here and all of it works. Beautiful headliner, new dash, carpets, seat covers, dome lights, package tray, everything in the car is like new. One great thing about the Super B's, awesome, awesome, the stripe. The stripe is such a great styling feature. And these had a great rear tail treatment with the correct uh, tips right here.
You know, this is the, this is the level of, uh, of restoration you're going for when you go ahead and spend the extra money on the fifth wheel and the fifth tire. You know, that setup right there might be $500 uh, to find an H-code wheel and uh, buy another replica tire. It's got a jack and everything there and all the tools. Got the right stickers in there. New chrome and stainless. Awesome, awesome emblem to be. Justin, get a picture of that bee. That is one great, great emblem. Enough of my talking. How about we let the uh, uh, the bee do a little talking? And I'll start it for you. Check out that. Even the reverse light works on the car. The brake system light works on the car because the parking brake is on right now. Closing up a video like this, you know, it's best just to let you look at the car and say to yourself, wow, man, that is one badass muscle car. And the truth of the matter is, you know, we're talking about matching numbers, 446 pack cars, only one of 104 in the registry. Uh, and we talked about the matching numbers. We talked about this being a real Hemi orange car. And uh, I mean, just, it's truly a muscle car dressed up in muscle car colors. And it's the real deal. It's authentic. It has documentation. And it really is, uh, if you can afford a car like this, you need to buy one while you can, because one day these cars will be four and five hundred thousand dollars, and uh, you'll kick yourself for not buying it when it was, uh, you know, nine thousand dollars twenty-five years ago. So anyway, Fleming's Ultimate Garage, super proud to present this 446 pack liftoff hood Super B. Call us 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.